Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin Shroff, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. In the ARM MacBook predictions video, I talked about the theory that the upcoming MacBooks will have touch capabilities, and I came to this conclusion by looking closely at the UI elements of Big Sur. With Apple's ARM MacBooks coming right around the corner, I thought, what better way to see if Big Sur works well with touch than trying it out with touch? So let's investigate with Big Sur running on my XPS 15 9570 Hackintosh. Before we do that, I'd like to briefly mention that the music used in the intro was made by me under the name Nivek Fours, and if you want to listen to it, links are in the video description. Firstly, we'll boot up the macOS virtual machine on my desktop. We'll be using this to create a macOS installer USB. Now that we've booted the virtual machine up, we need to download the macOS installer application off the App Store and create a vanilla install USB. My plan initially was to create a Big Sur installer USB so that I could directly do a clean install of Big Sur on my XPS 15. This unfortunately did not work and for some reason whether I made a vanilla method Big Sur USB installer or flashed a pre-made Olerila Big Sur DMG, I just had continuous issues trying to get the installer to boot. So instead of directly installing Big Sur, I changed my plan to first install Catalina and then upgrade that install to Big Sur. Since I've detailed how to install Catalina on the XPS 15 before, I'll skip covering this part in detail, but you can watch the process in the previous XPS 15 Hackintosh videos I've done if you're interested in that. Okay, now that the Catalina macOS USB installer is ready, we need to download an EFI off of GitHub that is designed for the XPS 15 9570 and has the necessary new changes made to be able to boot Big Sur. For this video, I'll be using Jeremiah's EFI. We need to mount the EFI partition on our installer USB so that we can use and copy over this EFI configuration. As my XPS is the 4K model, we'll delete the config plist for the 1080p version and rename the 4K one to config.plist. I'll also make two quick tweaks off the screen to the config plist. I'm enabling verbose mode with the V flag so that I can watch the boot process in case I need to troubleshoot something, and I'll increase the boot selection timeout from two seconds just so that open core doesn't just directly jump into whatever it last booted into. Done! We've now finished creating our macOS installer USB. Now let's safely unmount the drive from the virtual machine and the host machine, and then connect it to the XPS. After plugging in the USB to the XPS and powering it on, we have to hit the F12 key repeatedly in order to enter the boot menu. Sometimes the USB's EFI will be recognized automatically, and sometimes it won't. Either way, I like to play it safe and directly point the XPS's UEFI to the specific OpenCore EFI file so I know for sure that it knows where exactly to look when booting OpenCore from the USB. Now we save changes and reboot and select the boot entry for the USB we just manually made. This is the Clover boot menu and from here I'll select the macOS installer partition on the USB. Now that we've booted into the macOS installer, I'll proceed with installing Catalina to the internal NVMe SSD on an APFS partition. The install process will take somewhere around 10 minutes in total until we reach the desktop, but I'll fast forward through this. Okay, now that we've successfully installed Catalina onto the XPS, let's remove the USB and once again connect it to the virtual machine. Now we're going to copy over the Big Sur Beta Installer app to the USB and also mount the EFI partition and replace the current EFI with one that's compatible with Big Sur. This will be needed once the macOS install successfully updates to Big Sur in order to be able to actually boot it. Now that we've copied over the new EFI, we can launch the Big Sur Installer app and begin the installation. After it's complete, we'll reboot and enter the next phase of installation. Before that though, I'll go back into the boot menu and once again point the UEFI to the new OpenCore bootloader EFI on the USB, and then boot from it. Success! We've successfully installed Big Sur onto the XPS 15. Before we explore how well Big Sur works on a Hackintosh with a touchscreen, let's first finalize the installation by copying over our OpenCore EFI from the USB onto the internal SSD. This will allow us to boot Big Sur without relying on the USB. Done! 
Now we can explore our completed Big Sur install on this XPS 15. The new Open Intel Wireless ITL WM Kext by ZXYSTD allows me to use my Intel 9260 Wi-Fi card. Intel Wi-Fi cards did not function under macOS until very recently, being made possible through developments like this. In this EFI configuration, both touchpad and touchscreen gestures are enabled through Voodoo I2C. This enables emulation of the multi-touch gestures that you can natively do on a Mac trackpad, and Voodoo I2C also does this for the touchscreen. It essentially treats the touchscreen like a big trackpad when it comes to gestures. This allows you to do cool stuff like switch desktops with a four-finger swipe across the screen, and many other gestures. Swiping through pages and launching apps through the launchpad feels natural and iPad-like. A two-finger swipe in from the right opens the notification chain. Using pinch to zoom and positioning gestures also works great for things like pictures, maps, and web pages. Rotation also works, but the gesture's reliability is a little spotty. Scrolling through web pages is done with two fingers, like on a native Max trackpad, and is handled nicely and feels natural with Safari. The two-finger page back and forward gestures also work great. The new control center introduced in Big Sur really does look like it was created for touch input. The iOS-inspired design and layout, combined with the choice of UI elements, really makes this much more suited for touch interaction than mouse or trackpad interaction. The round, well-spaced buttons look like they came straight out of iOS, and in particular, the display and sound sliders really don't make sense from a non-touch interaction standpoint, and make a whole lot more sense with touch. This is why I think these design cues and other UI element choices in Big Sur are hinting towards a touch-enabled future for Mac devices and macOS itself. Although the menu bar items are more spaced out compared to Catalina, it's still a little difficult to hit the intended menu items comfortably. Dialog boxes have also become more simplified, with a much more spaced out and touch-friendly user interface. The design of these UI elements really makes you want to reach out and use touch for these UI operations instead of interacting by mouse and keyboard, which is currently the primary input methods for Mac computers. Performance and functionality-wise, my XPS 15 Hackintosh performs the same on macOS Big Sur as on Catalina, with the exception of one issue. It seems like all animations in the OS is running at around 45 FPS. I suspect this may have something to do with the iGPU configuration, or possibly to do with the 4K display not entering the correct 60Hz refresh rate and needing some correction of the display properties with the open core config. This is something that is also currently experienced by other users of this EFI on Big Sur, but will probably be solved later. If you want to see more specifics of how well the XPS 15 performs as a Hackintosh, check out my previous XPS 15 Hackintosh videos where I go more in depth on performance, functionality, what to expect, and more. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button below. If you have any questions about Big Sur on the XPS 15, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Additionally, all the music used in this video was made by me under the name Nivek Fours. Links are in the video description below. Thanks guys and see you later.